There's some mornings that I'm picking up Cheerios off the floor or mopping up spilled milk and I look up at the TV and I see one of my old friends off on some big story around the world and I think, ah, oh, what have I done? <laughs> this, these are the last remnants of my former life. Behind me, there are thousands of refugees spending their fourth night waiting in the darkness. In the course of one day, I could be interviewing the president one minute, it's Martha Stewart the next. This is uh, Dan Rather, and I anchored the one-year anniversary of 9-11. It was incredible. Once you leave um, network television, it's very hard to go back. Um, there were many people who told me I was crazy, that I was making the worst decision of my life. I never compare my choices to somebody else's choices, because everybody makes decisions based on their own circumstance and their own desire. I always wanted to be a mother. I wanted to um, have a family, and that was my dream. My choice to leave my career and to be a mother for this season was something that I would do again in the same way. To have this now, after the experience in network news, working in television for those many years, there's something that I treasure about this now. How are you guys doing? When I hear young moms saying, oh, I'm just a mom, you know, or I used to do such and such, but now I'm just a mom, I say, no, you are not. <laughs> you are a mother. It's not to say you shouldn't excel. It's not to say you shouldn't achieve. But what you do in your home and the work you do with your children is the most important work that you'll ever do. You're not just a mom. You're a mother. I am a mother. I would not trade these moments, these precious moments. It's a season of my life that will be gone with my kids in just a few years. My name is Jane Clayson Johnson. I'm a taxi driver. I'm a macaroni and cheese maker. I'm a homework helper. I'm a boo-boo fixer. <laughs> I'm a journalist. And I am a Mormon.